and sweets. Happy Thursday to everyone. Welcome back to my channel, Sweet Sadie J TV. Thank you all so very, very much for all the love and support you show my channel. Tonight I have a small little kind of like Dollar Tree little toys and a few items like you saw in the thumbnail. I've been looking for all the Sukin products and I've been finding a few here and there, but not a lot. But yeah, I think I have some pretty cool things to show you tonight. So without further ado, let's jump right okay, into this sweet. video. So I'm going to start with the uh, kid stuff, kind of like kid stuff. I showed you guys one of these novelty pens before, and I didn't know. It was kind of like a shape of a dinosaur, but then I found the um, butterfly one, and I just had to have it. I told you guys I love novelty pens, and that's it just says fidget pen on this. It doesn't even say novelty pen, but this one spins a lot better than the first one that I got. So I picked that up, and then I picked up all these little hodgepodge toys like the new toys that they have in the Dollar Tree right now. Oshis, Harry Potter, Batman, Wonder Woman, and um, there's another one. Harry Potter and DC Oshis, and then there's another one. I can't remember. Hold on. Let me see if I can okay, take this wrapper off. If you go to the Dollar Tree and you look down the toy aisle, they have these cute little new toys called Oshis, and they have them in Harry Potter um, DC, Oshis, and I don't, I can't, I think it might have been Ryan's World. I'm not really sure what the other one was, but whatever it was, I didn't want it. But I bought the DC, Oshis, if you can see those, just little toys for the kids. And y'all know, I'm a little scared of buying little toys like this for the kids, especially the smaller kids. But you just take the paper off and it looks like a little egg. And it says you have 19 to collect. So these things can be a little dicey trying to open. But they come in these little wrappers, little foil bags. And let's see who we got out of the Harry Potter. Because that's the one I wanted the most. But I'm going to show you the other characters. Oh, I got Harry Potter. Yay! I got Harry Potter. Yay. And these are pencil toppers, y'all. These Oshis, they go right on top of your pencil. Okay. And I was watching, I think, Pookie's View um, showing them. And I don't believe she knew that they were pencil toppers. But, Lord, I've done that plenty of times myself. But I just think they're so cute. And I'm going to put them on. I only bought two of these. So, I will be putting these on my pencil, my little bumblebee pencil from the Dollar Tree. But that's what they are, the Oshis, are pencil toppers. So I got that one, Harry Potter's. He's cute. Y'all know I love my little toys and my little trinkets. And this one is the DC Oshis. Oh, Oshila. Oh. <laughs> that's what I want to say. Oshila, let me love you. Oh. Uh-oh. Oh, I got Superman. Oh, he's cute. <laughs> so I got Superman out of the DC ones. Isn't that cute? I'm like, oh, look at them. And I got plenty of pencils back there where I can put one on each pencil. So I think that's really cute. And in the Harry Potter um, collection, there's 19 to collect. And then there's a limited edition, a golden Harry Potter. Then there's these rare ones that look like ghosts. And then you have translucent blue um, and glow in the dark one. So you have quite a few that you can collect. So here's the original ones, I believe. Yeah, the original ones. And I think that's a golden one too. And then you look over here. And you see the rare, the translucent, and the clear ones. So it's 19 all together that you can collect. But y'all know, yeah, I'm good. I saw somebody got Hermione, and I wouldn't mind having Hermione. But yeah, I love me some Harry Potter. And then on the DC ones, there is a golden armored Batman that you can collect. And then there is common ones at the top. And then you have rare on the bottom. So you have all these different rare ones on the bottom. And again, you can collect 19 of these. So you can see the common up top. 
and the rare ones right here. So that's what they look like. So if the kids like little pencil toppers, I got um, Superman. Yeah, I got yeah, I got this one right here. I got Superman. So he's the common one. Yes, I'm common. Okay. No, I'm not. Don't believe the hype. <laughs> okay. And okay, let's move on to the little one. small toy that they have in the Dollar Tree right now is the Space Jam ones. These are so cute, y'all. I love Space Jam. I'm not a LeBron James fan fan, but I like him. He's okay. Y'all know, I'm too old. I don't even know who half the basketball stars are anymore, you know. But, again, I did pre-open this because some of these toys is hard as I don't know what to get open. It took an act of Congress for me to get this little basketball open. So, it comes in like this, and it's so cute. Looks like a little basketball. But, honey... Let me tell y'all something. <laughs> it took an act of Congress to get it open. So I'm so glad I chose to open it before I um, started the video. This looks like a LeBron James sticker. I believe this is a sticker. Yep, it is. This is a LeBron James sticker. Okay. If you know a little kid that loves LeBron James. And then his packages come into little black packages that look like this. And, um... A lot of these packages were already cut open, you guys, like inside the cases. So I was like, oh, okay, that's cool. Uh, I got Cowboy LeBron. <laughs> I got Cowboy LeBron James. Can y'all see that? Cowboy with his boots on. So that's what he looks like. And I think they're cute, y'all. I love these little toys. But um, they're easy for me to sit up on my pile of collection of toys. But this one says, build your ultimate squad. This is series two. And this has 20 to collect. And you got a um, LeBron James as Robin. You've got Bugs Bunny. Oh, you got all these kind. And I got the one on the end. I got this one right here. But this is what they're all look like and there's 20 of them to collect so that's what they look like oh they have some um okay special figures more figures to collect they have a lola bunny a daffy duck an algae rhythm and a speedy gonzalez on the back so these are the rare ones that you might get <laughs> But this is what it looks like when you take it out of the little egg or basketball. And I just was my curiosity, just wanted to see what they look like. And again, these are nice and small where you can just sit them up on your little platform where you have all the rest of your toys. And then some more coming. I did try to buy another one of the Mr. Potato Head squeeze lens because I really told y'all before I wanted um, her right there. She's the one I wanted, but I bought two more, and I got the same of the first one that I got, and he's back there somewhere. I'm not even going to show him, and then I got this one, and I'm going to keep trying until I get my girl, because I love Mr. Potato Head. Yeah, I got this one. It was almost just like the first one with the baseball hat, so it looks like that, but they're cute. You're supposed to be able to squeeze them a little bit, and you are able to squeeze them. But, yeah, I don't know what's up with the baseball thing. But, yeah, that's what I'm getting so far. But you can get these five right here or six, whatever, how many there is. And I just want her <laughs> or maybe him, the fireman. But, yeah, so I got that. And then I bought one of these Among Us. Find a hidden figure. They're called Mini many figures by Tokito. Oh, they got so much stuff coming out, y'all. I'm just like, my curiosity, it says, Among Us, find a hidden figure. So the box looks like this, Among Us, okay? And then this comes in a little piece of foil as well, the little foil bag. And I have no earthly idea what this is, y'all. I mean, if y'all can help me out, I don't know what it is. It says Among Us. I guess it's for the aliens, you know, and they're Among Us. <laughs> I don't know, but that's what this one looks like. So, yeah. <laughs> so, I was like, oh, okay. 
Uh, yeah, mm-hmm. Twilight Zone. Uh-huh. Okay, my okay. sweets. The last of the toys today is the Disney Raya. The, um, what is it? And the Last Dragon. Raya and the Last Dragon. And I never did see this movie. But, you know, I'm kind of like out of that phase where I used to still watch the the cartoons or movies like this. But they have these in the Dollar Tree right now. And they're so cute. And you take them out... Well, I opened mine from the bottom just in case I want to seal it back and send it to my niece. So I did open them from the bottom because they're taped from the bottom and the top. And let's see. You take it out and it looks like this. It looks like a plant. Oops. I'm trying to hold it together so y'all can see like a little shield. And then it just opens up and I put the figurine on it. The figurine does not come attached. It comes loose in a bag. But I just put it on so we could save some time. But isn't that cute? I think that is so adorable. Look at that. That is gorgeous. So I got that one because I got two of them. Because I was really curious. Ooh, she's, he's trying to fall. This one on my this one is my purple, y'all. Mm, look at that. This one comes in the purple pod. Kind of reminds me of Invasion of the Body Snatchers. <laughs> and then there you have him. And I was just like, oh my lord, they're so cute. Out of all the toys that I've opened so far, I like the these the best. They are just so cute. And they come attached with a little hole at the bottom of their shoe. And there's a little peg right here that you just push them on. And you just attach it to here and push it down. And then you can display it wherever you want. So that's what it looks like. Isn't that darling? I don't know who he is, but I'll I'll look at the paper and see. Because, yeah, there's probably I'm probably going to have to buy my niece some more. Because I kind of like these. <laughs> I kind of like it. Y'all know I'm a big old kid. Okay, let me open this up and okay, I'll put my right sweets. Back. It's eight to collect in this um, series. This is series three. And they don't give the names of the characters, but I might have to go back and try for two more because I really like this one down here. I got him and I got uh, her. But yeah, I'm kind of liking this one over here and this one right here. So I might have to go back and buy some more. As you can see, there's eight to collect. But, and it's called Series 3, and I was trying to check the codes in um, in the store, and I wasn't quite sure where's that other box, if the codes were exactly the same, 22321. No, the codes are different on here, y'all. So when you go to check these out, make sure you look at the codes so you don't get duplicates, okay? Because I hate getting duplicates. I tried that on the Squeezling, and uh, I couldn't find any. But the last item of the toys is I bought this burger pileup. And I don't know if this is new or not. It just looked new to me. It is includes four game boards, 48 cards, one instruction sheet. And it's a number stacking game. And it's just called Burger Pileup. And it's for ages 6 plus. And it looks like this. It's called Burger Pileup. And you get the cards on the back with the cheese, the lettuce, and stuff like that. So, yeah, I thought that was kind of interesting. I do kind of want to open it. I don't know, y'all. I'm reverting back to my childhood here. This is terrible. I know, I know. <laughs> but this has a closed bag, so let's see what this is all about. Okay, so we've got all these little cards. It says Burger Pile Up, a number stacking game. And it has all the little veggies on here. Looks like that. That's number one. And then we've got number two. It says same thing. So you got all this, this whole deck of cards with different colors. Let me put this down. So I see some mustard, tomatoes, things like that, onions. I see red onions. So you got that, and then you have the table that looks like this. So you can, <laughs> so I guess it's for players, four, four players, purple, red, green, and another, what is that, blue? Yeah. So yeah, that's what it looks like so far. I would have to read the directions to see completely. This goes up to 48, but that has nothing on it. So 
Yeah, that looks kind of interesting. I'll check it out. See, my sister and I, we're having burgers and french fries tonight. We're having curly fries and turkey burgers. Yay! Courtesy of my sister, y'all. Okay, That's nice. I'm going to show you guys what I found so far. What was in the thumbnail. This is a Sukin Australian Natural Signature Cleansing Hand Wash. This is a um, one liter, 33.82 fluent ounces. It says it's a cleansing hand wash signature scent infused with jojoba, avocado, and rosehip oils to gently cleanse, leaving skin feeling nourished. I found these in my large local Dollar Tree about a week ago, maybe, yeah, sometime last week. And that was the first Sukin item that I've seen in any of my local Dollar Trees so far. But this is the only one that they had. And I picked up two of these because, you know, sharing is caring. I mean, hand soap is hand soap. I got two of these and I was very, very happy to find them. I haven't um, done a road trip lately, but when I do, I'm hoping to find the... Um, it's another hand wash, but... I didn't really want to buy this one, but I said I'd pass it over to my sister, see if she wanted it. This is Sukin Australian Natural Hair Care. This is an oil balancing shampoo, paraben free, cleanse and purify hair with morning extract, oh, excuse me, moringa extract and jojoba oil to help balance excess sebum. This is for oily hair and it's 500 millimeters, 16.9 fluid ounces. And I didn't even know they had a shampoo out there. But y'all know we have the very um, opposite problem. Instead of oily hair, we have dry hair. So I don't know who I could give this to, you know, or send it to because it's hard to send stuff like this through the mail. But yeah, I just bought it so you guys could see it because I didn't even know they had it. They do have a conditioner out. The clerk told me that they do have a conditioner out to match this, but they hadn't put it out yet. So I did pick this up and it smells very, very nice. I still haven't smelled the big ones. Yeah, it smells very nice. But yeah, we don't have a problem with oil, <laughs> oily hair. Our hair is so curly. Our sebum doesn't get down to our scalp. So that's why we have excessive dry hair. But yeah, this one was a good deal because this is just a hand wash. And this thing is huge. <sighs> yeah, it smells very, very clean, y'all. I put one of these in the... Um, in my search engine and I didn't put this one yet but I will and I'll put it in the video when I edit it but I believe this was being sold on eBay for ten dollars just one and that was on eBay I couldn't find anything else but yeah I did put it in my search engine and mm -hmm, yeah y'all know what I mean and this I finally found I told y'all if I found them I was gonna get them I don't need them but they won't go to waste in my house these are also great for tools, outdoor furniture, and more. So you can use these on so many things other than just your pots and pans. Cleans and scrubs, the Pine Saw Heavy Duty Steel Scrubbers. And you get one extra in this pack than you do in the Dollar Tree ones. Because the Dollar Tree has these all the time. But you get four in here instead of, I think, three. So yeah, and then I just read up there where it says you can use it for outdoor stuff, which... We've always done tools, outdoor furniture, grills, and stuff like that. So I did finally find the last item, I believe, that they have coming out right now in the Pine Saw. I believe I got them all. And one more silken, excuse me for bending. One more silken item that I found in my small... No, I found this in my large Dollar Tree. And it's so weird because... Um, Something just told me to get up and go to the Dollar Tree earlier than what I normally do. And when I walked in there, they only had one of these left, you guys. Y'all know I don't use this stuff, but I'm just going to pass it over to my sister. This is the Sukin Australian Natural Brightening Glow Night Moisturizer. Hydrates uh, dull skin types, types for... Yeah, it says for dull skin types. <laughs> and it's a 1.69 fluid ounce. I didn't realize it said brightening. I don't know. Does that does that mean it bleaches your skin, y'all? Or it just makes you glow? Because it says brightening, you know. But I'm not really sure what that says. It feels really heavy, like one of those 
dupes for the, um, oh, I hate trying to open these things, for the Neutrogena and uh, the other one. I always open from the bottom. It's a little bit easier. Yeah, it is a little glass jar, and it says Zucan Brightening Glow Night Moisturizer, and it looks like this. Let's see if we can get this clear. Why is it? Give me my problem. Stop it. So it looks like this. Let me back, back it up. Hold on. So this is what... I don't know why it's not... It's not focusing on the jar. Let's see. Okay. So it looks like that, y'all. Because <laughs> I can't play around with this camera. It irks that. You know what out of me. So it has a little lid, lift lid on it. It has a little lift thing. Oh, God, that flew off. Wow. Doesn't really have a smell. Just looks kind of like that. It's not really going anywhere. No, it's not really going anywhere. Oh. It kind of feels like cocoa butter. In a very, very light smell. Yeah, very. Somebody said it, was, it smelled like perm, perm, and she's right. It does kind of smell like the chemicals when you're getting your hair permed, but it's a light one. Thank God, because I wouldn't be able to put that anywhere near me if it smelled like. But she's right. I think it was my girl Brown Eyes on the Budget who said it smelled like um, perm, and it really does. Just lightly though, y'all. Yeah, just very lightly. But that is the Sukin night moisturizer and i see so many other things that they have floating around i wish they would just put it all out at one time so we could get it all but then it would probably fly fly off the shelves like it's been doing okay the last few items coming up and that's the end okay, of my tonight's sweet. the last two items in this haul for tonight are these two new bowls that i found at the dollar tree and y'all remember I just decluttered my bowl cabinet in my kitchen and donated all my old bowls to my cousins. And I just love this bowl, y'all. They had this in so many different um, patterns. They had it with light blue on the outside and a lighter blue on the inside or white. They had the smaller ones, but these two were the bigger, bigger ones. And they had them. And I just got two for right now. They are dishwasher and microwave safe. They're called Meritage Made in China. And I believe when I put this in my search engine, it came up as $10 as well on um, eBay. I don't know why I can't get it to come up on any other site, but eBay is one of the first ones that come up. And it looks like this. And it's a nice cereal or soup bowl, nice and heavy. I don't know if these are from Bed Bath & Beyond because I've never seen these before. But I wanted these two prints right here, these two bowls right here because of that beautiful blue in there. Isn't that gorgeous? And I had to take it off because this said um, bowl, mazarine, I don't know, stoneware, dishwasher, and microwave safe. See, one had a sticker like that on it and then this one didn't have anything on it it just came like that so yeah that is it for today my sweets i love these bowls i can't wait to wash them and get them in my um cupboard and i might get a few more i'm not sure i have to declutter the kitchen in case you guys are interested i finally did post a video up on my other channel decluttering with sadie if you want to go over and see how i decluttered my food pantry and i'm showing you guys a few progress that i've made and that it took me over a year <laughs> so if you're interested in anything like decluttering your home your closets your refrigerated pantry stuff, stuff like that that's the channel for you to check out. I will put it in the video when I edit this video. But love, peace, and happiness. Sweet Sadie J coming back at you. Remember, guys, be kind to each other. The world really is big enough for us all. I love you all so very, very much. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And everyone, have a blessed day. Bye, guys. Thank you.